Hey guys, welcome back to Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner. I'm Steve, and as you can see, I'm in the Darkwater Lagoon, and that means it's tiki time. Uh, this is a drink I've been wanting to share with you all for a while. Uh, it's called the Swamp Angel, uh, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, so, the first change to this drink is that this is not a shaken drink. This is flash blended. So I'm gonna be uh, relying on my old friend Hamilton Beach here uh, to spin this cocktail and aerate it, dilute it, and make it delicious. So we'll get our little mixing cup here and we'll start adding stuff to it. First thing we're gonna add is two ounces of agricole rum, white agricole rum. And so I'm gonna use Neeson. Uh, this is 100 proof. Uh, it is also 100% delicious. So two ounces. into our mixing cup here. Then we're gonna go with three quarter ounces of chartreuse. Um, I've been using chartreuse a lot lately. I just find it to be super interesting and it brings a lot of really uncommon tasting notes to a tiki cocktail. Uh, so it's been fun to play around with for the last little bit. So three quarters ounce into our cup. Almost said tin. Uh, now we need a half ounce falernum. Uh, this is uh, John D. Taylor's velvet falernum. Uh, if you're going to use an alcoholic falernum, this is the one I would recommend. Uh, if you can't get this, um, BG Reynolds makes a falernum syrup. The, the flavor is very, very, very close and it wouldn't screw up the drink to use that instead. So we're gonna use a half ounce of this. And even this bottle is kind of thick. It is almost syrup-like itself. Uh, now we need a half ounce of Orgeau. As usual, we're gonna use Bar Daddy. You can get this at caputos.com. Or if you're local, you can drive in to get it, or they're happy to ship it to you for free. Okay. Now I need a quarter ounce of allspice dram. Now I make my own allspice dram, but if you don't want to do that, um, Hamilton makes a great allspice dram. It's called pimento dram, uh, or St. Elizabeth's is also a very solid allspice dram. Uh, I'm gonna show you all how to make this allspice dram on an upcoming episode of Barback. So watch for that to come out soon. So a quarter ounce into our cup. Now we're going to go one ounce of pineapple, which I've already measured here. So this cocktail so far, you know, it kind of has everything I really like in a tiki cocktail. It's got all these interesting ingredients, it's got spices, it's got these weird savory notes that are going to come in from that chartreuse, it's got the grassiness from that Neeson. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, we're going to go one ounce of fresh lime juice. This is key lime juice for just a little extra tartness. Okay, and then we're gonna go with a dash of Angostura. Uh, and then, we'll do two. And then a couple dashes of Tiki Bitters. Perfect. Yeah, just the smells coming up out of this cup are amazing. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fill our tiki mug uh, with ice, and then I'm gonna fill our cup with ice, we'll blend it, and then we'll kind of half open, half strain pour into our mug. Okay, 
and blend away here just for five to ten seconds. Perfect. Okay, now we'll kind of half open pour and then half gate pour into our tiki mug. So once you start kind of running out of room, uh, just throw a cheap uh, Hawthorne strainer on there. That's where these really nice like dollar Hawthorne strainers come in handy. I don't really care about keeping out small ice chips, just the big stuff. And this lets the important stuff through. All right. So there we have the Swamp Angel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a nice long Surfside Sip straw in here. And then I think we'll garnish with just a little bit of grated nutmeg, just to give it a little bit of a nose. Uh, the opening on this mug's kind of small. Whoops. The opening on this mug is kind of small and so as much as I would love to shove pineapple fronds and all sorts of stuff in it, I didn't think that that would just kind of get in the way of actually trying to drink this cocktail. Perfect. Okay, so the Swamp Angel. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, that's so good. That's really everything I love in a tiki cocktail. Super complex. It's fruity, uh, but it goes down very easy. Um, you know, that's really the most dangerous thing about these tiki cocktails is that they go down really, really easily and you know, if you're not careful, they can kind of get away from you. And this would definitely be one of those. You know, we've got two ounces of overproof rum in here. We've got the Flarenum. We've got the uh, Allspice Dram that all have alcohol in them. Uh, but really, it doesn't feel like there's alcohol. You just get this awesome combination of flavors. Right up front, you get this kind of crisp, grassy note, followed by uh, the tartness from the citrus, that lime, and then the pineapple. Uh, starts to sweeten things out shortly thereafter. Um, and then you kind of get inundated with all these spices. Uh, the allspice dram, the falernum, that ginger, lime combo that comes out of that. Um, yeah, this is just super delicious. Really, really good. The chartreuse too. Um, on the end, the very, very back of the palate, the finish, you get this really nice herbal note uh, that lingers with that allspice. Um, I'm not sure how, how to describe it, uh, but this is definitely one that uh, I will be making again in the future. Um, it is delicious. So until next time, uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, give us a like and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you along. We've got tons of awesome stuff planned, and we've got tons of other videos for you to watch. Uh, I think we've got over 80 cocktails so far, um, just in the short time we've been doing this. Uh, the other cool thing uh, is if you want to get one of these awesome Surfside Sip straws yourself, they come in all sorts of cool shapes. Here's some bamboo. They come in shorter lengths, uh, and you can get bones. You can do all sorts of stuff. If you use our discount code Spirit Series, you'll get 20% off. Uh, these are super strong, we've yet to break one, and we absolutely love them. Uh, also, there's a link to our Teespring down in the description, and you can follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, those usually pop up right around here. So, until next time, keep the spirit, and let me know in the comments if you tried this and what you thought. Cheers. <laughs>